Hey, what's up everybody? This is Marin. Welcome to our course on Beginning Realm on iOS. Realm has been quite active in the last few years in the mobile space. They're sponsoring tech events by providing professional video recording, they're boosting talks on their website, uh, and they also have been very active in the open source space. Some very popular tools like, for example, Jazzy, the tool that produces documentation for your Swift apps, or for example, Swift Lint, the linter for your Swift code, those are all fr coming from Realm. And of course, their flagship open source project is their mobile database, the database for mobile applications on iOS and Android. So let's get started and look at more details. What are you gonna learn in this video course? Realm has two major products. The Realm mobile database is a free mobile database that hundreds of millions of people rely on every day. A lot of big companies in the App Store are using it in their apps. Now, on iOS, and in matter of fact, on macOS, you can use and access the Realm database from convenient Swift and Objective-C APIs. Developers on Android use a Java API uh, that works in exactly the same way. In fact, the produced files are uh, so similar, actually they're binary equal, so that you can create a file on your uh, iOS app and you can open it, copy it and open it in your Android app. Now, uh, for multi-platform solutions like Xamarin, uh, developers have a C-sharp API they can use to work with Realm. And on React Native, Realm offers a JavaScript API that React Native developers can use uh, in their own apps. Now, the second product from Realm is the Realm Mobile Platform. This is a, a server and company that allows synchronization of data between um, client devices. And so, if you have a uh, database on your iOS app, and if you have a database in your Android app, you can synchronize the data between both uh, via the uh, Realm object server, which is a part of the Realm mobile platform. It comes with an SDK for Node.js, so you can also add custom logic on your server, um, you know, open your Realm file on the server, um, adjust values, react to events as people use uh, your apps, and so forth and so forth. Now, the platform comes in different tiers. Uh, there's a free tier you can use for hobby or small apps with um, not very high requirements. And of course, for uh, businesses, uh, there is a, a paid tier uh, for them. But in this course, we're going to focus on the mobile database. Uh, we're gonna have a look at how to use it. And by the end of this course, you're gonna feel quite confident uh, in using Realm in your iOS apps with Swift. As we focus on the Realm Mobile database, we should first mention what's the status quo regarding data storage for mobile apps. Now, usually on both platforms, iOS and Android, developers use some kind of a wrapper library uh, around a generic database engine. On iOS, a popular wrapper library like this is Core Data. Uh, such uh, wrappers are called ORMs, uh, Object Relational Mappers. Uh, and, um, what they do is provide a database API that allows you to uh, work normally, for example, from Swift, which translates everything you do into an intermediate query language called SQL. And then this intermediate um, query language is being sent to a third-party database engine. Uh, in Core Data's case, that's usually SQLite. That generic database uh, is performing all the data finding and that matching all the processing and gives you back a data set uh, of data, which is also in some kind of intermediate um, data format, uh, usually a plain old data. And so in the end, the ORM gets that plain data and converts it once again uh, into objects that you can use in your app. Now, since Realm doesn't use any intermediate storage, doesn't use any intermediate query languages like SQL and, and so forth, um, the workflow looks quite differently. The objects that you use in your code, alongside with any relationships that they might have to other objects, are written to disk exactly uh, like you're using them in your app. Also, you don't need to do that manually in any way. Realm knows how to get those objects and those relationships and persist them on disk. Whenever you need that data back, you get back exactly the same structures, exactly the same objects that you uh, written 
originally back from Realm automatically. So there is no intermediate formats, there is no uh, query languages uh, going uh, behind the scenes. Everything is quite straightforward and uh, much, much faster. If that already sounds interesting, you're in for a treat. In this video course, you're going to learn how to define Realm objects, how to create and persist them, and also how to create a disk and get objects back. Additionally, you're going to use the Realm Browser app to inspect your file as changes are being um, written to it live. To wrap up with a bang, you're going to add some reactive features to this course's project by using Realm's built-in notification mechanism. That's it for this video tutorial in which you had a glimpse at what the Realm Mobile Database is all about. The next step is to already start defining objects that you're going to be writing on desk and in which you are going to learn in the next video in this course. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.